What's my morning routine? This is a question I'm always getting asked. A bunch of you guys have asked me this, so I thought today we do something a little bit different, and I would take you into my morning routine and show you what I've learned over the last few years about how you can set up your whole day for success just by simply organizing your morning. All right, let's do it. Welcome back to Citizen Surgeon. My name is Dr. Eric Pearson. We're gonna be doing something a little different today as I take you behind the scenes into my morning routine. But first, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you'll be the first to know when these videos come out. My goal at Citizen Surgeon is to scale surgical education, get you comfortable on the ward in the ICU, comfortable on those exams, and of course, inspire and motivate you. And part of that, is not just in the textbook. Part of that is how can you organize your day to be efficient and get stuff done? And I am a huge believer that that starts in the morning and I'm gonna tell you why. After this video, I hope I have you convinced that the morning is the most important part of the day. This is what sets everything up from not only your productivity, but also your attitude and your energy. Well, how did I get here? After decades of trial and error and figuring out what worked for me, and also reading a bunch of books and talking with colleagues, I developed my process. And so, what are those books? So I'm gonna put a couple out there for you, and I definitely think you should click on these, get these, or borrow them from a friend, check them out at the library, whatever you have to do. The first is The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. Now this is where I started using his SAVERS acronym, and that's silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing, or, or writing, journaling. And I'm gonna take you through how I incorporate each of these. The second is James Clear, and that's Atomic Habits. Now just these little habits, and I'm gonna show you how I use habit stacking and a few other of his techniques to really kind of load my morning full of awesomeness. <laughs> so when does it all start? So first I gotta tell you that I go to bed pretty early. I'm usually in bed right around nine o'clock, 9.30, after my wife and I get the kids to sleep, so I have a set of seven-year-old twins, have a four-year-old daughter, so after we read stories, do bedtime, I'm in bed. I don't watch TV, I read for a little bit and go to bed. And so that primes me to wake up between four and 4.30 in the morning. And so what's the first thing I do when I wake up? Well, the first thing that I do when I wake up is I put on my bike shorts, all right? So I put on my bike shorts because one thing that I learned in James Clear's Atomic Habits is if you can increase the cues to good behavior, it's likely that you'll engage in those good behaviors. Now that might sound totally obvious, but for me, if I put my bike shorts on, I am gonna do a workout. If I don't put my bike shorts on, I might talk myself out of it. So it's the first thing I do, wake up in the morning, I'll spend maybe a couple of minutes in silence. I'll think about my dreams, all right? I'll think about my day, the day that it's ahead of me. But then I get up, I go right from the bed to my closet, throw on the bike shorts. So step number two in the Miracle Morning. So I got my bike shorts on. I usually pop downstairs. We have our awesome new dog. He's eight months old. It's, his name's Forrest. He's a Bernadoodle, so he's super fluffy. He loses like two thirds of his volume when you get him wet, but he is a totally awesome addition to the family. So go downstairs, I'll let Forrest out, and then I hit the coffee button. Now, another thing I learned in James Clear with habit stacking is thinking about what is one thing you do every morning, always? But for me, it's getting coffee. So whether you're doing a Keurig or whether you're doing Mr. Coffee Coffee Putt, or for us, we have a little coffee maker in our house, I hit that power on button, and what's the habit that I stack? Push-ups. So a couple of months ago, I was thinking, well, gosh, what's a habit that I can start to stack on to one of these uh, automatic behaviors in the morning? I was like, well, I'd like to do more push-ups. So I go down, do 25. I've gradually started to mark this, mark this up, and now probably do 100, 150 push-ups a day. Not in one time, but 
They always start, the day starts with 25 push-ups while that coffee's warming up. Now after I've got my push-ups done, the coffee's brewed, I pop over to the kitchen table and this is where I sit down and I'll do two things. I'll read and I'll scribe or journal, all right? Now, some people say, well, I don't have time to read in the morning. Well, two things that I do. Number one is at every night before I go to sleep, I set my journal and I set the book that I wanna read right on the kitchen table. So it's easy, no excuses not to do it, right? I'll then set a watch and set my watch for just 10 minutes, just 10 minutes of reading and I still do it every day. I set a, just a small goal, and then I'm able, sometimes I read for 15, sometimes I'm in a read for 20 minutes, just depends on what the morning is, but I'll always do 10. And that allows me to just fly through books. For the medical students or the residents out there, maybe it's a textbook that you wanna read. And I suggest that you don't sit down and say, I'm gonna finish a whole chapter. Set either a couple of page goal, or a time goal and make it small. Make it something you know that you can accomplish. So you don't set yourself up for failure, you set yourself up for success. And so if you say, well, I'm gonna do 10 minutes, and you get to the end of that 10 minutes, you say, eh, I'm gonna do 15, maybe 17, maybe even 20 minutes of reading. And if you do that every day, that adds up to hours at the end of the year. It's one of the concepts that I love that James Clear talks about in Atomic Habits is he says, well, let's say that you have a 1% increase every day. You're not going to see a big change at one week or two weeks or a month, but at the end of the year, you're going to have a massive improvement. The same thing goes for bad habits. If you decrease yourself by 1% a day with a bad habit, by the end of the year, you're going to be in pretty bad shape. After I finish my reading, I'll write or journal for a little bit and it changes what I journal about. Sometimes I'll journal about the previous 24 hours. Other times I'll journal about what I want to accomplish that day, or I'll write down some positive affirmations. So you can see that I kind of worked my way through this. I did my silence, my affirmations, I've done my reading, my striving, I've done a little bit of exercise with the push-ups. I got a cup of coffee, but now it's time to get the blood flowing. So after I'm done reading and writing, I head upstairs and I jump on the exercise bike and I pound it out for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Doesn't take a long time, but long enough to get those juices going. A good exercise at the beginning of the day not only sets me up, so when I do this, I walk in the operating room with so much energy and I started doing this in residency and it makes a huge difference. If there's one of these things that you gonna incorporate in your day, I would say this one, start exercising, even like 50 jumping jacks or 25 push-ups, just do something. After I'm done with the bike and I'm sweaty and I'm hot, I go and I jump into our freezing pool. We only heat it for the kids and so usually in the morning it's freezing and it is the best wake up. So after now I've had my coffee, done my reading, some scribing, got my exercise in, I jump in the pool and it's like boom, you're ready to go. All right, after my cool down, I'm all washed up, got my clothes on, head downstairs, I usually just grab a quick breakfast, maybe one more cup of coffee. I love those perfect bars, the perfect peanut butter bars. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description below. Definitely check it out if you like, get yourself some. I think you'll love it. Leave a comment if you do. Leave a comment if you don't. Um, I should say my favorite coffee is Homestead, so Stumptown Coffee. I've been drinking that for the last few years. My wife and I love it. It is. Uh, Totally awesome. I can drink cup after cup after cup. Usually in the weekends I do. Um, and then the favorite part of my day is getting out the door. I get to see my kids just about every morning when they're getting ready to school. Give me a big hug. The dog sends me off. My wife sends me off. And it's, uh, it's going to be an awesome day. So how could you not have an awesome day that is totally ahead of you if you get these things done? Today, I hope you enjoyed take, me taking you through my morning routine. I've built this kind of over the last several years, but those books, Miracle Morning and Atomic Habits, helped me a ton in trying to build some habits, habit stack, and of course that acronym SAVERS, silence, affirmation, visualization, exercise, reading, scribing. Get those into your morning, you'll have a miracle morning. Leave some comments below. What things have you incorporated in your day? 
I'm excited to hear about it. All right, take care, check out Citizen Surgeon, and I'll see you in the comments.